Here's something I found on AliExpress. It's quite neat. It's a USB powered wooden puck with a little circuit board in it that has one, two, three, four, five, six LEDs and then two parallel resistors feeding all the LEDs in parallel. And you turn it on, it lights up. And you get to choose uh, on the listing whether it's going to be warm white, cold white. And I noticed some other listings had the RGB colour changing ones as well. But the idea is that you can put things like crystals on them and it will uh, make them sparkle and light up. I did, however, think it would be quite nice putting one of my 3D printed quartz crystals on. So I sized one to fit and uh, it does look very smart indeed. Uh, I'm going to include the... Uh, parametric script down below for open SCAD. What that means is that depending on the base you get, the size of this base may be different. There's going to be tolerance, different manufacturers. So you can actually, instead of providing an STL file that might not be compatible with your particular base, this lets you use open SCAD to just basically create your own custom friction fit crystal for your base. So let's check the current. What happens with the script is that when you copy and paste it from the description down below into OpenSCAD, which is a free piece of incredibly sophisticated software, it lets you uh, modify it to your heart's content. There are some variables at the top, uh, and once you've adjusted them and rebuilt it, then it will create your STL file to match. So this has six LEDs. It's currently running about 180 milliamps. It's wavering a bit because I think it's a bad connection. There's, yeah, there's a bad connection, this slight connection resistance. It's significantly low voltage. But there are six LEDs and two resistors in parallel, uh, feeding all the LEDs in parallel. So it works out roughly 30 milliamps per LED because it is 180 milliamps total. Technically speaking, you could change these resistors to match what you want. If you wanted to reduce the intensity because these are in parallel, you could just take a pair of side cutters and you could just crunch one of those resistors out because they do appear to be in parallel. But check before you do it, just in case they're not. And you lose half your LEDs, but you could fix it. Uh, and that's more or less it. They have a selection of different bases for these. Um, and it's quite smart that it is just basically milled out of wood. Uh, it means that you don't, if you want to make a fairly sophisticated project, you don't need any sort of wood processing tools. You can buy these bases. They're not that expensive. Hold on, I'll get the listing here. The listing says... Uh, the seller for the first listing that came up when I just took a, a review, I typed in USB wood LED, and this is what came up. ZG Home Decor Store, and it says wood round LED nightlight base art display holder USB lamp for crystals, glass ball, resin art decoration, 80 millimeter. 80 millimeter? This one's not 80 millimeter. Hold on. Let's get the calipers onto it. Calipers say this is about 66 millimeters diameter. And the inside core in this one was about 33. Yeah, about 33. That's the crucial bit you'll type in to the uh, script when you've got an open SCAD. But this is smart. I like this. Uh, it offers lots of potential for 3D printing random objects, hollow objects, and then actually just plug them into this to make illuminated ornaments. Very smart. Uh, so I shall include that script down below, and there we have it. Just a very simple way of creating a really nice sort of artistic nightlight type of object.